You're watching Global News. This is Global News at Noon. The head of Canada's largest private sector union is retiring. Jerry Diaz is stepping down as Unifor's national president after more than eight years. The 63-year-old went on medical leave just over a month ago. And on Friday, Diaz notified the union's national executive board of his immediate retirement, citing ongoing health issues. You're watching Global Toronto. This is Global News at 5.30. We have breaking news tonight, a day after the head of Canada's largest private sector union stepped down over health issues, Unifor now says they've launched an investigation into Jerry Diaz. The complaint alleges that Diaz engaged in a breach of the union's constitution. However, the union isn't sharing any details on the complaint just says it was received earlier this year. Diaz has led the union representing 315,000 workers since 2013. Unifor acknowledged today there was a complaint against former national president Jerry Diaz for an alleged breach of its constitution. The union says in order to ensure the integrity of the ongoing investigation and to maintain confidentiality in accordance with the Unifor Constitution, specifics of the complaint will not be divulged at this time. Diaz notified the union of his immediate retirement on Friday, just over a month after going on medical leave. Unifor says it received a complaint on January 26th and a probe was launched three days later. Unifor, the union that represents 315,000 Canadian private sector workers, is launching an investigation into its former national president, Jerry Diaz. The probe will look into allegations that Diaz engaged in a breach of Unifor's constitution. The move comes just a day after Diaz announced he was immediately retiring after more than eight years in the role due to ongoing health issues. The union is not giving details of the allegations and has yet to name his replacement. Unifor says its former president, Jerry Dias, is under investigation. The largest private sector union in Canada says it received a complaint in January about an alleged breach of its constitution. Dias went on medical leave shortly after. Then last night, he suddenly announced his resignation. The union says it will not comment further until an investigative report is released in the near future.